Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. Redfield and Wilton have released their latest poll, and although there is a very slight increase for the SNP, I would advise them not to get too cheery about it. It's still going to be a Labour victory, and that poll, we'll have a look at, we'll have a look at the results of the poll in a moment, but that poll results uh, don't take into account, of course, tactical voting. I've done the video. Go watch if you haven't. It's very important. And so, you know, regardless of what happens, it's not going to be anywhere near as good. Let's take a look at the poll. Let's take a look at the details. and Let's see what the hell is going on and why the SNP are even now in trouble. Still to come. Here goes. So general election 2024 live poll tracker. SNP closes gap but still face heavy losses. Now, they've only closed the gap a tiny bit, and this poll was taken, obviously, before they've released their high tax manifesto. I've done one video today about how they're increasing taxes. I've got another video on a different tax they want to introduce, which again will damage yet another sector of society, another sector of Scottish industry, um, and cause even more poverty and misery, and remove a lot more money from the economy. These guys are absolute geniuses, so keep an eye. Keep an eye out for that one. Uh, the SNP, Scottish Labour, Scottish Conservatives and Scottish Liberal Democrats are all hoping to win seats north of the border that could prove crucial come the 4th of July. And indeed it will. Uh, Scots will go to the polls on the 4th of July after Rishi Sunak confirmed the date for the 2024 general election in the rain, if you remember. And that image of him standing there getting dripped on destroyed him. It's since got worse, but that alone was the picture that destroyed any chance he had. Uh, the election in Scotland will be a chance for the Scots to send a message to the SNP. And as we've covered in our tactical voting video earlier, we all know the message we want to send. The message being GFO. Or, if I translate it into my Scottish accent, GTF. Um, they both mean the same thing. Uh, anyway, Scotland will be a key battleground in the race for number 10, with Sir Keir Starmer hoping it can pave the way to a Labour government for the first time in 14 years, making Sir Keir Starmer only the second person to be voted into Prime Ministership for Labour in 50 years. So far, it's been 50 years and only Tony Blair had been voted as a Labour Prime Minister in the last 50 years. Stunning, isn't it? Um, it promises to be a dramatic election, as it indeed has already. Uh, as you can keep up to date with the pollsters are saying, We'll keep you updated, he said, uh, with every major poll, an update of our own poll of polls, taking the average of the last 10 Scotland-specific polls to see the wider picture. Now, of course, these are taken, uh, and you know, then other stuff happens. So we've got the high tax manifesto that's been out today. That's going to damage things. Uh, there's another tax I'm going to mention later, which will also damage things. But of course, as I say, these don't take into consideration the tactical voting, which is absolutely vital. We cannot stress it enough. I know I mentioned it a lot. I know Preston mentions it, and I know uh, Craig uh, mentions it, Craig Houston mentions it. It is that important. So make sure you vote, and make sure you vote the correct way in your constituency. Don't let them win by apathy. Get your ass out on that date and put your vote in. Make it as high a turnout as possible. It may, it may make all the difference. Anyway, uh, today it's been that uh, the SNP closed the gap on Labour. The SNP has closed the gap on Labour over the past few days after a series of polls in Scotland. So Keir Starmer now holds a lead of under 4%, with polling day just over two weeks away. He follows the latest salvation poll, which gave Labour a four-point lead over the SNP, something that would see the Nats drop to 18 seats, bracket, before tactical voting. So Labour on 35.6, SNP 31.7. Now that makes it 10 consecutive uh, polls that put Labour ahead of the SNP. So it doesn't matter now what the SNP say, they're not winning. They're not in the lead. Just as an aside, can we suggest that if, as the SNP insists, they get the most seats, then that is a mandate for a Indie Ref. I would suggest then if they don't get the most seats, that must be a mandate against Indie Ref. And the people will have spoken and the people will have said, we don't want independence. They want to play silly games. They can win silly prizes. Uh, anyway, here's the, the Redfield and Wilton one, also published today, which I mentioned in an earlier poll, which shows 
uh, Labour at 36.1, SNP at 31.1. So actually a five-point lead under the Salvation poll. Um, and that's a, that's a good lead as well. So between the two of them, that, that sort of number seems to be sticking fair. Um, and it does go to show that the people of Scotland really have had enough. I mean, the SNP at one point, I mean, they had an absolute majority. They're now looking at an absolute wipeout. Now, obviously, the absolute majority was at the uh, Holyrood elections. But that, that's their peak. They were at that peak. And now they can barely muster a third of the votes. And they're going to be second. I mean, it's just... You know, how can you put this? this? The fall from grace has been spectacular. And they're still falling. But once this general election is over, and you know we'll be watching those results as they come in on that Thursday night, Friday morning, watching like a hawk. I'm sitting there with my little colouring pencil, colouring them in as they go, looking and going, ding, ding, ding. Um, it's going to be embarrassing. I think John Swinney will lose his job over it. He was brought in to lose. I think he'll lose his job. And that'll be it. And of course, he will take away the sins of the party and allow someone else to come in, all fresh and new, shiny-faced, with a brand new party. Uh, and then they will be the party leader that will sit and watch as the party goes under and hits the uh, hits the wall, goes bankrupt, goes into administration. So uh, that'll be three, lo four losers on a trot, really, won't it? Especially if uh, Sturgeon can get her ass in prison, that'll be even better. Anyway, we'll round that one off. There, we'll come up. It goes to show polling isn't good. There's a slight, a slight pickup for them, but I wouldn't hold my breath. Anyway, let's come up and finish. I say a week is a long time in politics, but uh, 17 days is a glacial epoch, isn't it? Um, but I can't see Labour losing the lead to uh, any extent. They might get a point up, point down. There might be a wobble, like just that, that general wobble. But I don't foresee, outside of anything major catastrophically going wrong, Labour changing their position. And of course, the more seats that Labour and the Tories and Lib Dems take, and the fewer that the SNP take, the absolute better We'll bankrupt those buggers if it's the last thing that we can do. Anyway, I'll round off there. Thank you very much for watching. There is another video coming up with the uh, the new tax. Again, another tax in their manifesto, which I think needed a separate video for, rather than being input you know, onto the other tax video, because this one has it's a completely different thing in a different sector. So keep an eye out for that one. Until then, stay safe, stay well, and I will speak to you later. Bye.